The area problem. The area problem consists of finding the area of an arbitrarily shaped region of the usual xy plane. A possible approach is to divide and conquer. We split the region into shapes for which the areas are known such as rectangles or triangles. Then add the areas. If we have a perfect fit, then the problem is solved. Otherwise, we obtain an approximate solution. The divide and conquer approach fails to provide an exact solution when the boundary of the region is curved. Example 1. Approximate the area under the graph of y equals x squared from x equals 0 to x equals 1 by filling the region with four rectangles. Splitting the interval 0, 1 into four parts gives endpoints 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1, and each rectangle has width 0.25. The height of each rectangle is given by the y values and are found to be 0.25 squared, 0.5 squared, 0.75 squared, and 1 squared. The total area of all the rectangles is 0.25 times 0.25 squared plus 0.25 times 0.5 squared plus 0.25 times 0.75 squared plus 0.25 times 1 squared which is approximately 0.4688. Note that this is an overestimate of the area under the curve of y equals x squared from 0 to 1. Area under the graph. To find the area under the graph, we first partition the interval into subintervals. For example, splitting the interval 0, 1 into 5 subintervals yields interval 1 equals 0 to 0 0.2, interval 2 equals 0 0.2 to 0 0.4. Interval 3 equals 0.4 to 0.6. Interval 4 equals 0.6 to 0.8. And interval 5 equals 0.8 to 1. Note that 5 subintervals means that there are 6 points. Next, we choose a sample point x sub i star within each subinterval. We may choose the left endpoint of each subinterval, the right endpoint, or the midpoint. The area of each rectangle is then the width of each subinterval multiplied by the height, which is given by f of x sub i star for the ith subinterval. Denoting the width of each subinterval by delta x, the sum of the area of all the rectangles then becomes f of x sub 1 star times delta x plus f of x sub 2 star times delta x and so forth. The more rectangles we have, the better the approximation. In fact, the exact area is given by letting n approach infinity. Therefore, the area under the curve is given by the limit as n approaches infinity 
of the previous expression. Example, approximate the area under the graph of y equals 1 over x from x equals 1 to x equals 2. Use a partition containing five points. We work this problem using the left endpoints as the sample points, the right endpoints, and the midpoints. The points of the partition are x0 equals 1, x1 equals 5 fourths, x2 equals 3 halves, x3 equals 7 fourths, and x4 equals 2. Recall that since the function is y equals 1 over x, that the function value at each point is just the reciprocal. Choosing the left endpoints, we obtain the following approximation. L4 equals 1 fourth times 1 plus 1 fourth times 4 fifths plus 1 fourth times 2 thirds plus 1 fourth times 4 sevenths which equals 319 over 420 which is approximately 0.76. Choosing the right endpoints, we obtain the following approximation. R4 equals 1 fourth times 4 fifths plus 1 fourth times 2 thirds plus 1 fourth times 4 sevenths plus 1 fourth times 1 half, which equals 533 over 840, which is approximately 0.63. Choosing the midpoints, we obtain the following approximation. M4 equals 1 fourth times 8 ninths plus 1 fourth times 8 elevenths plus 1 fourth times 8 thirteenths plus 1 fourth times 8 fifteenths, which equals 4,448 over 6,435, which is approximately 0 0.69.